Area clearance allows you to remove a large portion of material within a selected vector. The area clearance toolpath is located under 2D toolpaths. The dialog and options are similar to the profile dialog. Here, I am just entering a finish depth for the pocket that I'd like to create. An allowance can also be set. This could either be to leave some material on the pocket or to make the pocket smaller. I'll explain final tool allowance in a moment. For now, I'm going to add a 12mm end mill to the tool list. You'll notice that when I add this tool, the parameters of the tool are automatically displayed and you can see that the step down is set at 12mm for this tool. This means that it will machine the 5mm depth pocket in one go. Let's change this to 2.5mm so it does two passes. There are two different strategies that you can use for this. The default is raster which will come across in X then step over in Y and then come back again in X and so on. There's also offset which will follow the shape of the boundary and step inwards or outwards depending on the start point that you select below. I can then set up the material as I would for any other toolpath. Let's give this a material thickness of 12 millimeters and the Z origin at the top. Then calculate the toolpath which will then be shown in grey and you can see how it is following the shape and offsetting. The problem that I have here is that I would need to use smaller tools to the area clearance to get further in to machine it. The smaller tools will only machine the areas where the previous larger tool could not machine. If I zoom in on the corner, you'll see that the smaller tools are getting into the corner and I can simulate each smaller tool to show how much material it is removing. A final tool allowance will leave the amount of material specified on until the final finishing tool comes and finishes to the correct size. This is useful if you want to get a nice edge finish, for instance when machining acrylics.